Okay, this video is going to be about absolute paths versus relative paths. Okay, so we've learned about in the terminal, um, we have the cd command to change directories and the ls command. So first let me log into the CS server. So I'm logged into the CS server, we're typing in Linux commands and we have ls, which uh, basically uh, lists out the items in the directory, and then cd, which can change directories. So the terminal view is a text-based view of essentially a file browser using the cd and ls commands. Right? Uh, many commands, including ls and cd, take in a path argument. Okay, so if I am currently in my working directory, print working directory, this is my home directory, if I am in this location, a relative path to my working directory might be labs or public or public HTML. Those are all relative to my current working directory. Right? If I was inside of labs, uh, then lab1 would be relative. Type ls, there we have lab1. Lab1 is relative to my current working directory in this case, print working directory. Right? So, if I just type in ls um, labs, right, let's go uh, back to the home directory. ls can take an argument that is a path, and I can look inside of labs. Okay, so this argument here is relative to my current position, which is home. Right, so print working directory when I'm at home, this is my home, and then if I just put labs at the end of that slash labs. That is the absolute path to my labs directory. Okay, so an absolute path, the key thing to remember is it always starts with the root of the file system. Okay, the root of the file system in Linux is slash. So in Windows, the root of the file system might be the C drive. It's commonly the C drive or whatever drive you've installed the operating system on. Okay, so that's the root. And then the other directories after the root are separated by slashes. So we have a directory u1 slash class slash cs20100, right? These are all directories, all right? This whole thing starts with the root of the file system, so it's an absolute path, all right? Uh, relative paths uh, are always relative to some other directory. And generally, when we're talking about the command line, it's relative to your current working directory, OK? So another example. Uh, if, you know, I type ls labs here in my home directory, and the the command succeeds, right? And it lists out lab lab one, right? Labs is relative to my home directory. If I'm in another location, let's go to the root of the file system, and I say, okay, show me what's inside of labs. This labs is going to be relative to my current location, which is just the root of the file system, right? So there might not even be a labs directory in here, and sure enough, there's not. Right? The command failed because it can't access labs because no directory inside of the root directory uh, exists called labs. Right? These are the directories inside of the root directory. Okay, So that's the important distinction between absolute paths and relative paths. Uh, just remember that relative paths are always relative to some other directory and absolute paths always start with the root of the file system, or on Linux, they start with the slash.